Say that you've installed a few extensions and the status bar in VS Code is getting a little cluttered. You can easily hide status bar entries to clean things up. Now here at the bottom of the screen, you can see my status bar. There's a bunch of different entries here. Some of these are coming from VS Code itself, so they're built in like the get branch indicator here, the problems, the line endings, all of those are coming from VS Code itself. And then we have other ones that are actually coming from extensions like ESLint over here. Now, if I'm not actually using some of these status bar entries, I can go and hide them. I can hide both the ones that are coming from extensions and the built-in ones from VS Code. This leaves more space for the status bar entries I do care about, and it just removes some visual clutter from the screen. To manage the status bar entries, I'm just gonna right click in the status bar. And then here you can see a list of all of the possible views for the status bar here. So again, this is including the built-in views and then ones that are coming from extensions as well, such as LiveShare and GitLens here. Now let's just go through, and one common one that you might wanna hide is the tweet feedback button. So that is the icon over here that lets you tweet at VS Code. Let's just go and hide that by unchecking this in the list here. And you can see that that icon has now been hidden. If we ever wanna get it back, we can just go in here, right click, and then enable the view again by going and enabling tweet feedback there. But let's keep it hidden for now. Now, another one I'm going to disable just to give us a little bit of extra space here is the ESLint indicator, since I know ESLint is working properly in my project. So I'm gonna go, and this one is coming from an extension, so you can see ESLint. It's identified as an extension here. And I'll just go and uh, uncheck that. So now we have a, a little bit of extra space here to actually see some of these other entries. Now let's go and hide a few others here. So I'm gonna hide the TypeScript project info, which is showing the version number for my TypeScript project, which in this case is taking up a lot of space. And when I do this, you can see that some additional information is showing up. And that is because we now have enough space to show the GitLens information. So we have the GitLens view here enabled. And previously, because there was limited space in the status bar, that was not showing up. But now that we've actually created that space by hiding a few additional entries, we actually have this view now showing up here. So we can just go through the list and manage all of the views that are coming from both VS Code itself and from extensions. And you can find the set of views that you find is most useful. You might find that you'd like to keep the status bar pretty minimal or try to optimize it for whatever your workflow is. So that's a quick look at how you can manage the status bar entries in VS Code.